kind of cool. I really do. Um, I watched, uh, what is it, Crip Camp, finally. Uh, <laughs> that, that's my friend's film. That, that, my yeah. friend lives up that hill over there. I know, and I had no context when it, you introduced me to him <laughs> at the Jewish uh, Art Center. And we uh, we must have talked for two hours about, wow, oh, it's not like, no, I, I mean, I was like, that's just a really cool friend of Nina's that I got to hang out with. And then, uh, <laughs> and yeah, it, it like, they oh. get an Academy Award. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I think it's it, it just that good. So. And it, I mean, talk about, uh, you know, positive shit giving. I watched that because you gave me shit for not seeing it. Uh, but I, it really, to me, it, it like, uh, it made me think about a lot of the work that we do at BASE and like you and I have talked about doing and you, you do with, with the people you work with is that camp that they all went to is where a lot of the people that we point to as game changers, that's where they got confidence. Mm -hmm. That's where Judy got confidence was at that camp. And that camp had nothing to do with leadership. That hat camp had nothing to do with finding your benefits, filling out forms, uh, a lot of, a lot, because that, that stuff didn't exist, uh, it was one. But the, the camp was just about belonging and building confidence like other people have access to and don't even think about. And once, but, but that led to 504 sit-ins, that led to uh, the ADA in part. But it's almost like that, the, the role that that camp played has been put aside or forgotten about as a piece. And, that, and that's what the, you know, a lot of the young people have now, they have 504, they have ADA, but they don't have that camp experience. So what is, what good are these rights unless they're paired with a certain amount of confidence to be able to. So yeah, that's what, that was a great fun. Mm -hmm.